This is KEXP, 90.3 FM in Seattle, around the world. We're KEXP.org. I'm quite excited to be in our performance studio. We're going to have some live music all the way from New York City. Senya Rubinos, thank you so much for joining me here today. Thanks for having us. You ready to do a couple tracks? Yeah. Take it away. My name is Rosa. I live under the bridge. I live under the trees. I do magic tricks for money. Ooh. Name is Rosa. She lives under the sun. She lives under the Oh, <laughs> 
y café. Pan y café. Pan y café. That means bread and coffee. Pan y café. Pan y café. Pan y café. Pan y café. Viviendo en pan y cafeína. Yo no sé por qué jugar ahí en el patio. Se robaron los juguetes. Ay, Marcelina me dijo que el helado no es gratis. Hay que pagar. Ay, Marcelina me dijo que el amor ya no es gratis. Y no quiero pagar. Ya yo me quedo aquí en mi casa. Y no salgo pan. Pedro se ríe, pero no tenía. Te escondiste detrás de la nevera Ay, viven tres chatones mentirosos Que me cuentan de su vida Y me cantan Acerín, acerán Los maderos de San Juan Los de abajo piden queso Los de arriba piden pan Triqui, 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 tri Triqui, 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 tra Acerín, acerán Los maderos de San Juan Los de abajo piden queso Los de arriba piden pan Triqui, 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 tri Triqui, 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 tra Acerín, acerán Los maderos de San Juan Los de abajo piden queso Arriba, pan, triqui, 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 ta, vamos. Pan y café, pan y café. Pan y café, pan y cafeína, tómalo, está bueno. Pan y café, pan y café. Pan y café, pan y café, pan y café, pan y café. Live music here at KEXP from New York City. Senia Rubinos, thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here. We're so excited to be here. And it's not just you. Tell, tell us uh, who you're joined with on the drums today. On the drums, Marco Buccelli. Hello. Welcome, Marco, to you as well. Thank you. Great to have you on El Sonido today. Uh, this is your, you said you've been to Seattle before. Yes, you once the, before. You played the Fun House and did a... The little record shop. A record shop gig. Show, yeah. And you're on tour currently with Man Man. Yep. Been doing a little bit of West Coast. Yeah, it's our first time really doing a tour on the West Coast. Okay. It's been a lot of fun. Um, got to go to Cali for the first time. Nice. And got to come back to Seattle, which I've been wanting to do. Um, and I drove by KXP last time and was uh. like, ah, listen to my CD that <laughs> I burned in my car. So it's really f cool to, to be back. Well, we have listened to your CD. Uh, you have a uh, full length. It's your debut full length. It's called Magic Tricks. I've been playing that some on the show. Let's let's step back a little bit. Let's learn a little bit about you. Um, I, you're living in New York City. Is that where you, where you grew up? And I grew up in Hartford, which okay. is just north of New York. Got gotcha. you. And how did you get into music? Is it something you've always been doing, or I've always been making songs and um, just making things up and and uh, kind of plunking around on the piano and. Um, I don't know, it's just the thing that makes the most sense. Did you ever do like school band stuff or did you have your parents give you classical piano stuff or anything like that or just something you just did on your own? My parents, my dad tried to give me classical piano lessons. He used, to, I think as a child, he wanted to be a pianist, okay. um, but I just never really took to it. Um, so I, you know, I was like five. I just wanted to play and like dance. So the, I would just not really take it very seriously, but it was always something that I, just it was just part of my daily life um but i never thought about it like this kind of like academic serious thing um yeah but what you do is is incredibly unique it's one of those things that i honestly am like wow i've i've never seen anything quite like that i saw you perform um in new york city earlier this year while i was out there for lamc and it's it's totally mesmerizing is it's just like mesmerizing it's it is really unique is this sound that you're doing now you feel like something that's just been bubbling up through was it a conscious effort to try some new things with the loops and the and the keys and the vocals and drums or uh well this sound kind of happened uh because of life and circumstances and um i just like was right i've been writing music my whole life um but i didn't have the guts to play keyboards so i had other people playing keyboards for me and then uh I had a family member who got sick and it, and it um, helped me realize that I was wasting a lot of time and that there was there was just a lot of excuses and like, you know, today is, you know, the day to do the things that you want to do. So I just started playing keyboards and um, even though I'm not like 
classically trained or anything, but it, that kind of defined my sound because I'm, I'm limited in my playing. Um, th this kind of junky keyboard sound became my sound um, in essence. And then working with Marco, I've been working with him over the last um, several years on um, songs and he's an incredible kind of like sound wizard and, and has this really deep understanding of songs. So working on the record, um, Magic Tricks with him was, was an awesome uh, experience and yeah, he knows the songs better than anybody else, for sure. Was this something you were doing on your own to start with? Like the songs that we're hearing on the record now, were these um, something you were working on when it was just you? And were you recording them at all? Or Yeah, I would, I, you know, com composing writing is like pretty, pretty solitary process. So I was mostly just on my own. Some of these songs are uh, 10 years old um, and others were written right when we were going to record this record. Um so yeah, they've they've gone through a lot of different things, and uh, I brought them to Marco to to kind of um, you know work on. Um, some of them were fully fully arranged. I don't know if you want to talk about like. First of all, maybe how, how how exactly did you guys were you already friends? Did you see him drum somewhere else or? Well, music we we met through music and uh, playing in uh, different situations, very different from this one. Um, improvised music or other stuff that Senya was writing at the time. But I've been knowing her for for a while. I've been, I've been playing with her for a while. For a while, although again, this is this format is fairly new. I was oh. playing in this. I had like this seven or eight piece band called La Mala Madre, the Bad Mother, uh -huh. in Boston. And I was looking for a drummer, and I heard Marco was pretty good. But when I met him, I thought he was a total jerk. I was ah. like, Definitely not. But then he ended up being a really great drummer. So I was like, okay, I should give him. Give him a shot, and then we ended up working together in a bunch of different bands. And you like yeah. each other now? Uh, Sometimes, <laughs> you know. Okay. We get by. It, it's a great compliment, um, honestly. What you guys are, are doing together. So you had some stuff that you said you've been working on songs for ten years. Some was fresh when you came together. You had a an album in mind to flush out the stuff that you had already done, or were you like, let's collaborate and make some new stuff as well, or a mix? It just was time. Like, it just happened because of circumstance, I think. It just, like, the songs were ready, and I, you know, felt really urgent about recording them. And, I, and uh, we were both, it was just kind of on time for both of us to work on this record. And, um, and as soon as we finished it, we just couldn't wait to, to get it out. So we, we put it out ourselves. Um, and then a year later, um, it was released by uh, Bada Bing Records. Yep. And... Um, it's been an awesome ride so far. What was it like taking it live? So you guys got together, realized this this would work, and put together an album. How was it transitioning into let's play together live as a duo and, and do these tracks? Well, the record is really us playing live. So okay. it was it was more of like the opposite, I think, of like how do we make this into ah, a record? Because gotcha. we've been playing, playing in okay. this way for about like a year and a half or two. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, we decided that, or Marco, you know, was really kind of like on that tip. It was like, the record just needs to be us playing live because that's what this is right now. It's a very live band kind of sound. Yeah. So it's been fun to, to you know, see how the songs grow and, and as time goes on and playing in front of different audiences and that kind of thing. You feel like it's um, it's changing you and how, how you want to make songs and, and your songwriting now as a band together? Yeah, I think, I mean... The goal is to get better at what you do. So sure. that's, you know, what we're trying, <laughs> we're trying to do. I think um, this, you know, duo um, setup kind of helps helps me think about simplicity and things that are essential and um, cutting things out that maybe aren't mm -hmm. and um, trying to be minimalistic about some choices. And so, yeah. Cool. And oh, since this is the modern Latin show, I'm going to ask about the bilingual. Um, is that did you grow up? bilingual and that's why the songwriting is sometimes half and half or one or the other yeah um i grew up uh my mom is puerto rican and my dad's cuban and uh, i grew up speaking spanish it was my first language okay. and then um the rest of my life i mean i've lived here i've lived in america my whole life so my life is in english um mm -hmm. but i think part of my imagination as a kid stayed in spanish so i think it's just another instrument it's just another yeah. tool i like it mm -hmm. and something's things make more sense in one or the other or how you want to express a certain thought comes out in one or the other. Yeah, it's kind of random. It's not, it's never really intentional. Gotcha. Once yeah. again, uh, we're speaking with Senya Rubinos, 
joined by Marco on the drums. You guys sounded great today. Really excited to have you live on the show. Again, they have a full-length record. It's the debut full-length called Magic Tricks. You can get that now, and I recommend it. You guys have a, a few more songs? Yeah. I would love to hear some more live tracks. Thank you. Whenever you're set. Take it away. Sola soy la última, yo soy la última, yo soy la última. Si no me quiere de persona, no me quiere de me sola. Oh, oh yeah. yo soy la última. Si no me quiere de me sola, soy la última. Yo soy la última, yo soy la última. Si no me quiere de me sola, no me quiere de me sola.
it's the right thing won't you do it it's the right thing yeah big time bigger money yeah it's the big guns shooting us won't you do it it's the right thing won't you do it it's the right thing yeah big time Bigger money, yeah, it's the big guns shooting us. Won't you do it? It's the right thing. Won't you do it? It's the right thing, yeah. Big time. Make your money, yeah, it's the big guns shooting us down. Won't you do it? It's the right thing. Won't you do it? Live music here at KEXP. Wow. Like I said, it's mesmerizing. It's great to watch you guys live. Once again, big thank you. This is Senya Rubinos. Thank you, Senya. Thank you, Marco. For sure. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks, James, for doing the sound. This is KEXP, Seattle.